The team brought the city together. Woo! <laughs> This Sunday, they're sharing an inspiring <laughs> message at the Rock Church. I think I've lost hearing on this side, like this okay. year, because Over, what he did well, the it's entire time. It's their fault. It's not my it's fault. It's your fault. It's their fault. It's your fault. Uh, <laughs> Aztecs, uh, Nathan Mensah and Matt Bradley are here with <laughs> Pastor Miles McPherson. Uh, good morning to all of you. Good morning. Uh, Pastor Miles, thank you. Uh, and a belated congratulations to both of you. Appreciate uh, it. And, and we thank you from the city, from us and everybody else, because what you guys did was, was special. We'll get to that in a minute, right, Charlie? Yes. Yes. Oh, this is, this is where I am allowed yeah, to ask a question? The SC, it's, that means you. Okay. Uh, Sunday <laughs> service, we'll get to all of this and the screaming in my ear, but Sunday service is pretty special. Tell us about it. We're going to hear from these guys. I mean, you know, the, the, the run that they had was supernatural. It was amazing. And they were there, you know, praying. <laughs> as we were all praying, they were really praying as well. Roommates. And uh, we're just here to celebrate them and hear the story and hear how God was involved in what they went through. Ooh. This, the season that you guys had, Matt, we'll start with you. I mean, I, I think if you talk to a lot of people, the, the guys in that locker room maybe were the only ones who thought we could make it to the championship and maybe win it. Everybody was kind of surprised. Were you surprised that it kept happening? Because it's one thing to believe it and then actually see it come to fruition. Like, oh my God, it's unbelievable. Talk to me about that. Yeah, this, uh, this season was a long journey. Uh, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of adversity, sure. but we, we, we held together. And the makeup of the guys on the team, that's our own personal lives, especially mine. You know, it's been up and down for us, but we stay faithful to the grind. And, you know, we have guys on the team that just, knew the truth, uh, believed in the truth, and we stuck together. And, you know, I can't be any more happy for us. I, I kept telling everybody here, as we take a look at Lamont's shot, that the shot, you know? Right, right. Um, that's like a new logo, you know? Uh, <laughs> but I kept saying, you know, this group of guys, it's a special group because I think of the temperament and the personalities and the maturity that you guys had as a team together. That's what you want, that chemistry. Nate, how important was that for, the, for this run to, you guys are roommates, you guys get along, you guys are friends, that's so important. Tell me about that. Yeah, it was like a, a group of team effort, I would say, and like uh, starting from the fifth guy on the team, starting five to like guys on the yeah, bench. Yeah. You could see like, see like the gel that we had among ourselves. And this team uh, can, cannot be compared to any other team. Because yeah. people will be like the 30 and two team, but I feel like this team was a team that was meant to have great success because yep. uh, we all have believed in ourselves. And belief doesn't come when the work is not there. We went hard towards this. And our faith uh, kept us going, being patient when things were hard. Yeah. And that was the goal for us, that patience is a virtue. Uh, that virtue led us to success. You talk about that faith, and we talk a lot about that uh, here on the show. How big was faith? Does it play a part in what you guys did? I mean, there's learning to play basketball, being a good team, and doing teamwork. But then there's magic. There's some other magic that comes in that elevates, what was that magic for you? Uh, personally, I would say I don't believe in magic. Uh, I think uh, uh, God has given us the platform that we need to share our story. And some platform needs to be shared on bigger stages. And God knew that this was the time for us to tell our story. And the big stages was this much madness. And uh, ho and behold, God granted us the big trees yeah. that we needed to share our story. So. I don't believe in magic, but I believe in that. But you believe in God's call, magic? I don't call it uh, God's magic. <laughs> what, do you, what do you call it? I call it miracles. Miracles. <laughs> yeah. Miracles. Now you're sitting there nodding your head like, yeah. Right, right, yeah. yeah. Nah, uh, it's been, like I said, it's been a journey and just a life journey as far as with my relationship with God. And, you know, it's been up and down, but, you know, God's been faithful to me and, and I'm just extremely grateful. So uh, this season is just a testament to, I yeah. think, what we've been through personally as far as with our faith journey and just as basketball players. Miles, you hear these two young men here. I mean, this is what you want. This is the example you want, right? Yep. Especially on that stage in sports. There it is. Exactly. I mean, this is what this was me 40 years ago, not in basketball, but you know, when I was in the NFL, I had an yep. opportunity to, yep. to talk about how God gave me an opportunity from a very small Division three school. And it's not for us. It's for him. You know, he gave us the talent, gave us the opportunity. You can get hurt. You know, the, mm. the chances of it being someone else are very high. And so when you find yourself in that position, it's very important to acknowledge in your own heart and to others how, how you got there.
On Sunday, are they speaking? Like, or is it, tell me about Sunday. For and then, can anybody come watch you right now? Yeah. How does it work? Y'all nervous? <laughs> a little bit. I no. Know how big the church was. I have never been to the main side. I always go to City Heights, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. the Rock Church. So it's a lot of people. Yeah, speaking. No pressure. It's going to be right. a lot of people. Right, right, like, what's right. a lot of people? Like, how is well, it? Well, you know, we have we have five campuses here in yeah. San Diego, and they go to one in City Heights. So okay. they're going to be in Point Loma with me, and I'm going to interview them. Yeah. Both services, 9 11. Well, of course, fun. it's anybody can come every week, no matter what, right. at 9 11 uh, at any of our campuses. But we will be at the Point Loma campus. Like, how many people? Well, it seats 3,300. So, are you, do you get more nervous about doing this <laughs> than doing basketball? No, seriously. Like, right. are you, which, which, which one? We just, we just played it in front of 80,000. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. I was going to ask you, when, when you're playing in a big, giant stadium like that, doesn't that affect the, the, your shot? Because I think, I think there's something about those the giant. The per, is it all perception, or is, I think there's like a breeze that comes down when your shot doesn't go in because there's so many people in there. It's kind of like you're just outside playing at the park. You that's know? what I'm. That's yeah. really. I say that. Yeah. Uh, listen, I'm gonna wow. read some stuff here. Uh, okay. Nate, you recognize as this, th these two, uh, the Mountain West Defensive Player of the Year. Uh -huh. Every time you block a shot, I was losing my mind. Yes, he was. Like yes, honestly, was. it was unbelievable. Anyway, uh, Mountain West Defensive Player of the Year, high achieving scholar athlete. Uh, you guys put all these things together. How do you do all that and do your schoolwork and do your practice and the games and everything else? It seems really hard. Uh, it's hard when you have more friends and it's easier if you have less friends. Less friends? <laughs> yeah. Less you mean so if, if there's somebody watching right now, <laughs> you want to tell them have less friends in order? No, no, th I'm like serious because I'm going through this in my own life right now. Like less friends is less noise. Is I think what, what Nate is? is trying to say is Quality, not quantity. quantity. Yeah. Is that, that what you mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's, that's what I do. Well, what do you have to know about him? He speaks five languages. Oh, I know. What, like, you could be the Pope, dude. <laughs> what, it's like, what, what language? language? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh, growing up, my mom and my dad are from different tribes. So I speak Gan, Chi, uh, Gan, Dagbe, Fanti, and broken English, which is like a PG English, English with uh, a dialect. Can, can, can you say good morning and all of those real quick? Go. <laughs> Don't tell me which is which, because I ain't going to know the difference. So, uh, good morning, I would say, I'll, uh, let me do it the simple way. Welcome, Akwaba. Uh, I want to say, uh, how far, which is PG English. Wow. Uh, uh, how would I say this? Tote, uh, which is gone. What is he saying? What does he say? Yeah, yeah. 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 Matt, what? He didn't teach me yet. So <laughs> I still, I still got Matt, how, Matt, how many languages do you speak? I speak two. <laughs> What's your other one? Sign language. Do you really? Yeah, Are you kidding? Yeah. Give us a, oh my Why? God. Good morning. And okay. how did you learn sign language? Uh, through San Diego State, yeah. Look at you. Mm -hmm. yeah, Why, yeah. What made you want to learn sign language? Uh, I wanted to learn something, so, you know. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. And you know, I like. I Shout out to the deaf learn community. I, I got love for them. Uh, I yeah. mean, you got you got. Wow. Listen, I wish we had a basketball. I got it. Can I show this before before we go? So you know, wait, wait. Look, look, look at that guy in the red. Look at that. Look at me. That's me at Staples Center draining a three from NBA rank. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. That's in game. Ooh. I don't like my kick Ooh. on the leg. It looks ugly. Look, I'm slow. I'm old. You got good form, though. Do I really? Yeah, you got good form. Hey, analyze my shot, will you, uh, Matt? Please. Uh, let me see. Wait, watch right here. I think this one didn't. Watch, watch, watch. Right here, the form, the follow through, the pretty. It's so pretty. It's textbook. It's textbook, yeah, bro. It's textbook. That's what I'm saying. I don't like my jersey. Did you say it's pretty? Uh -huh. I like this. Yeah, it's pretty. Like white men can't jump. Remember? It's pretty. <laughs> it's so pretty. It's pretty. Tell me you guys have seen that. I, see, I, see. I mean, it's a mandatory. I don't care how old the movie is. I'm sorry. Is. I'm sorry, Charlie. I held it up, you know. And look right. at my colors. Look That's at the right. colors. What's We're up? really doing this on TV. We're analyzing Raul's basketball Well, shot. you got my, my guys pretty. over here. Call pretty. Miles, my shot. Yeah, yeah. Pretty's not the... Yeah, no. Miles. I mean, Different word. I appreciate it. You guys, thank you very much. We thank both of you. Congratulations. Congrats. Sunday's going to be great at the Rock Church. Uh, Miles. Sunday, everybody come, come Thank on Thank you down. very much. Come we appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, go Aztecs! <laughs> <laughs> wow!